is ready for the election. Matiangi spoke to journalists alongside Inspector General of Police Joseph Boynet early this evening. 90 returning officers across the country in all constituencies, all the 47 county coordinators uh, of IEBC, and a number of senior staff at the Secretariat, in addition to enhancing the security of the commissioners. Uh, as I've said before, we will do whatever it takes to support our brothers and sisters at IBC to conduct the elections and to deliver on their constitutional mandate. We do not conduct elections as government or as security sector agencies. Elections are conducted by the IEBC. The law is very clear about that. We respect their independence and we respect their constitutional responsibility. Our work with them is basically to understand the needs they have in terms of security and to provide that particular support. I'm grateful that we've had very useful discussions with them and that is uh, continuing and we will proceed to work with them as we go forward. On our part, we have made very detailed preparations. Um, all the security sector agencies, we have been having multi-sectoral uh, uh, discussions and we are now ready uh, to provide uh, support to the IBC. And uh, this includes, of course, um, availing personnel that the IBC will need wherever they will need it. And uh, this uh, also includes escorting ballot papers and escorting any other uh, assets that they, they will have. We will continue to do this. And um, this morning I just signed the cassette notice declaring 8th of August uh, public holiday as expected by law. Uh, of note is that we've not declared 9th of August a public holiday because we expect that uh, we will vote on 8th and go back to work uh, on the 9th. So far, uh, and we keep getting reports uh, on a regular basis from across the country, uh, all is well, the country um, is um, safe, and we have not had any uh, unusual and any significant uh, in. So Nick Wambua attended that briefing today in the evening. Nick, um, this acting CS touched a little bit on social media. And like we all know, there are millions of Kenyans on social media. What specifically did he touch on with respect to social media? Linda, as you said, it is exactly five days to the general election, which is next week and uh, perhaps the most uh, heated uh, uh, campaign period that we have had. And therefore, that meant that uh, the security systems had to come in to make sure that uh, there is something that is done so that uh, Kenyans don't just uh, spat on each other in, on social media and then different platforms, including the rallies that these leaders have been attending. And now what is happening is that uh, the interior, the acting interior cabinet secretary, Fred Matiangi, together with the IG, Joseph Boynet, held a meeting today with all the security uh, forces from different counties, uh, just as a last-minute preparedness, uh, being the last meeting that they had before the elections, uh, to give a brief of what is happening in their areas. That Linda comes in uh, the issue of social media, whereby they're saying that um, just like uh, Ole Kaparo some uh, days ago had indicated that those who are manning different uh, WhatsApp groups, uh, they are going to be accountable for any hate speech that is going to be sp spread uh, across uh, WhatsApp and also Facebook and different medias. Uh, Matangi says that uh, Kenyans should be watchful at this moment because uh, they are coming for those uh, who are spreading hate speech on these different platforms, ensuring that... Um, peace is going to prevail in this period and the elections is going to be peaceful. They're saying that as, as the security, uh, everything is set and they are ready. They are ready to make sure that uh, the elections is conducted in a manner that is sober and there's no going to be any sort of a violence uh, whatsoever. But the, then uh, he's also citing that um, as a police, they are going to make sure that they are going to act within the law. They are not going to do anything that is outside their law or that is outside their mandate. And therefore, and, and therefore seeing that they will be getting instructions from IEBC during the election period. Therefore, Linda, it is just a warning to those who are using social media and especially those who are affiliated to uh, particular parties that they should be watchful of what they say at this moment. So, Linda... 
nothing much from the uh, from this uh, from this uh, meeting between the IG and the and the minister therefore Linda it means that uh, right now what is happening they are going to be providing security also just okay. to mention uh, last Linda is that um, they are saying that uh, they are going to measure uh, or they are going to look at the uh, to, uh, at all corners to see how many police uh, they are going to yeah. deploy okay. in every polling station indicating that they are going to be providing protection also for all the returning officers okay. back to Linda Nick, thank you.